um good day guys um welcome to another series and recently i noticed um a bug on flutter so i think this is actually something that has to do with the recent release on flutter and that should be 2.10 or so so um what i really find is very very um so i'm just gonna create a simple project I'm just going to create a simple project uh, if I can spell document right. Oh, that should be documents. Okay, so um, by creating a simple project, let me just do some sort of um, flutter create um, fixing. Let me just give this fixing. So, um, why flutter creates the project the main issue here was this basically flutter released their recent version that allows you to create some sort of uh, that allows you to run your app on window devices without using any sort of emulator or the web or so without using a physical android device on ios device so um let's just sit in to fixing and try to run this using flutter run we should get an error so when we choose a device and we choose windows you can see right here this wasn't here before in the previous versions this wasn't here you only had the option to choose either chrome or edge or any other connected device um let me just select windows um this should take a minute or so uh, the main issue here was this um if you first you need to have visual studio installed not the normal visual studio code this is the visual studio installer and um, make sure you have the c plus plus development cmaker so i think that's what it's called make sure it's installed so you should your directory should look somewhat like this though the file is extremely large i think it used up to like six gigabytes of data to install it so why this guy is being set up um, let's just proceed okay good so this is what um where is it where is it where is it this is what you are looking for this desktop development with c plus plus and make sure that these guys here this option that these guys here are actually installed as it will not work but i think the main thing flutter was looking for was this windows 10 sdk and um, msvc and uh, something of um, c plus plus c make tools for windows Think this was actually what they were interested in now why you got this installed um i do not need this um please note visual studio requires a very very high performance computer to run on so i would recommend maybe you have some sort of device that has a like 8 gigram 8 gigabyte of ram i'm running on an ssd 8 gigabyte of ram hp 840 device so i do not have much issue when running these apps this is taking a whole lot of time uh, this should be done a new time from now. okay so here we have the error saying um, error waiting for the bug connection blah 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 so this is our main concern cannot load AOT data from this current directory and it was looking for the app.so file inside the debug data folder so let's just um, head over to our VS code to navigate to that particular app so um this is windows most people will actually look for it here which doesn't really make sense it can't be here so um based on the error we got um it said it was looking for it inside the build folder and at the build folder if you notice we have the app.so here but somehow flutter was looking for it inside the runners folder and the debug directory so um let me just move this guy over here move and i believe this should work so if i choose to not use that and i choose to use here let me just do terminal let's do flutter run hitting enter this should um this should ask me okay windows this should work properly fine now i shouldn't get the not found um, file error anymore 
and it's gonna take a whole lot of time again at first after looking for so many fixes online i couldn't actually get anything that was useful i was actually trying so many trials and errors uh, so recently um, i do think um, this recent upgrade with flutter is actually pretty cool uh, based on my notice it somehow uses less less ram yeah less ram so what's the issue here okay yeah oops sorry i mistakenly um i placed it in the wrong folder it was supposed to be inside the data i placed it under the debug instead of data yeah so here we have it here so let me just simply run again and um, yeah that should work windows uh, yeah i'm looking for the windows defaults yeah this is taking a whole lot of time really they really need to work on the speed of build well i think flutter recently is even faster than it was initially released that was 2018 or 17 or so so i believe it's currently faster in building so um yes let me just wait till while it's done building i want to show you guys something real quick then i hate waiting for apps to build like it's literally the most annoying thing ever okay good so here we have our app currently running and if you see right here it's somehow totally responsive in a way so this is the title of our app or whatever you want to call it and yeah it's currently working so here's the cool part about it being that this is actually fixed if you head over to your task manager so let's try to see what is currently running and if you notice this is fixing you can see right here the memory it's actually using 0% CPU and 35 point something megabyte that's extremely low so if I try to perform operations on the app um, clicking 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 now even though I am running task I think that the app doesn't seem to go past 10% uh, CPU usage I think highest I saw just now was about 7 but that's pretty impressive though I am running on an SSD device so you can see here power performance power uses very low power usage whatever also very low um, that's very impressive kudos to flutter so um, that's it for today's video please um, if you have any questions or take on this please do well to like share subscribe comment subscribing is totally free don't pay for it just feel free to let me know if you have any issues leave it in the comment below see you right back